Hey you guys, I am back. The kids had a really good this morning this morning. Super foggy outside and um, fun to kind of go out in the fog in the morning. And it's not too cold, but um, anyway, they had a good morning and they got their chores done and got off to school and I have been editing one video. I'm all caught up and I just got a package in the mail from Grove. You guys don't know I'm not like I would love to be sponsored by them but I'm not I don't even have a discount code but I can put a link for a referral in the dis in the description it'll get you like free products so if you want to use it you can but let me show you what I got I kind of ignore the way Grove works is that you can like order on a monthly basis you can even like set up um, certain things to come on a regular basis but I haven't ordered for them from them for a really long time but like I'm almost out of my favorite spray. This stuff is so expensive, but, well actually the spray is only $10, which actually is expensive for me for a spray, because that's ridiculous. But I really love the smell of it. I love the candle even more, but the candles are $25 for a little teeny tiny jar. And um, I can't do that, but I can do the spray. What I tend to do is when Abby, after Abby kind of wipes down the counters, and if I have friends coming over or guests or whatever then I'll spray that spray on some of the counters because um, it's just the aroma that I love it is a disinfecting spray so it does work but I don't use it to clean with I just use it to like make the house smell good so let me show you the different things that I got um, in this little kit I did have a ten dollar um, referral code that gave me ten dollars off I think someone had clicked on a link at some point so I I got a $10 referral, so if you sign up, it'll give me a $10 code, but also if you can tell your friends about it, then you'll get those, the same discount. And so let me just show you what I got. All right, so the first thing that I got is that charcoal toothpaste. It's supposed to be, like be whitening. I don't think the kids are gonna use this at all. And it was only like $3, so it's the cost of like a normal toothpaste. But I do wanna see if it does, you know, make my teeth whiter before I go to the expense of getting my teeth professionally whitened because I still haven't even gone to the dentist yet. <laughs> I haven't even made that appointment, but I want to try this out first. I just got some dishwasher detergents. There's 20 of them in there. Um, it was really because I think I'm down to a few of them in the kitchen and it wasn't very much. And it just saved me from having to get some at Costco like right away, I can like kind of wait a week or two before I have to get more. So then I got another one of these. I have one of these in the lemon, I think it's called lemon verbena, but this one is a peppermint scent. So I do use this one to clean up with more often, especially my sink. It is a multi cleaner, but it also smells really good and I thought going into the holidays. Okay, so then I got some more bathroom cleaner. I ran out of like, I usually use, um, like scrubbing bubbles in the bathroom or Clorox wipes, but it does help the kids. They think that one swipe of a Clorox wipe makes the whole counter clean. <laughs> so I kind of need them to use, they clean their bath, the bathrooms um, upstairs and down here. So I need to kind of tell them to put this on the counter and let it soak more. And then I also got a daily shower cleaner for my shower. Um, if you don't know about this, about me, I hate cleaning my bathroom. I did clean it on Saturday, like surface cleaning. I clean the counter and the sinks. I don't like cleaning the bathtub and we don't use it very often anymore. So that's kind of nice. Um, but I don't like cleaning the shower and it's like fake, it's like plastic. So it's not like I even have to worry about grout lines or anything, but I just hate cleaning it. So I'm kind of hoping I can either motivate myself or Jason <laughs> and we'll just hang this over the edge of the shower and we'll spray it after our showers and then, or right before our shower or in between or something, and then we'll just scrub it while we're in there and hopefully we'll kind of keep our shower a little bit cleaner. And then last of all is that Caldrea Pear Blossom Agave and it's like my favorite smell in a cleaner or you know air freshener candle it's like my favorite but it is a countertop spray so 
I just use it here in the kitchen. I guess I could use it in the bathroom if I wanted to kind of freshen up the bathroom before guests come over too. So kind of fun, the kids were like dying. They saw it this morning and they're like, what is that, we wanna open the package? And I'm like, no, it's mom's package. Mom gets excited when she gets cleaning products. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but you know, that's the life of a mom. All right, so you would think that I would wanna sit back and relax. I have a house that's clean, like everything is clean. Chelsea vacuumed this morning. Um, they did their chores really well on Saturday. Today is Tuesday, by the way. Yeah. I took Sunday and Monday off from filming because I'm so caught up on my channel that I don't need to film every day and I like to take a break. I'm kind of bored. House is clean. I'm itching to put up Christmas. And let's talk about that for a second. All right, so here's the deal with Christmas. Normally, I don't set up terribly early before Thanksgiving but I have to kind of schedule out here on my channel. So I'm already scheduled. This video, like I said before, will go up on November 18th. Today is November 5th. So if I start decorating now and spend like a week or so decorating and getting prepped, these videos will go up the week before Thanksgiving. Then we get our tree the day, two days after Thanksgiving. We get it on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. You see where I'm going? Like, I, I have to kind of be ahead of the game in order to have it up on my channel, like, well before December. So, I kind of need to start decorating. I don't actually know if I'm gonna have time today. I might pull the boxes out and start pulling out the things that I wanna put on my shelf, that big shelving unit in my front living room, because I don't think I'm gonna have time to do more than that. I don't even think I'll have time to put it on the shelf. I'm just, I'm gonna get it out and see what I've got. I'm at my Marshalls right now, because I, I just, I'm addicted to buying and looking at the Christmas stuff right now. So we'll see if I find anything. But um, I just remembered, I think Kaylee just responded to me. I just remembered that Kaylee has an orthodontist appointment today. So I have to pick her up in like an hour and a half. Is that, no, two and a half hours. So I'll have time to go to Marshall's and then go home and then I'll have to go back out and get her. So it doesn't leave me very much time to actually decorate. And then they have, as soon as I get home from her ortho appointment, I'll have to, make dinner leftovers from last night. We had um, Hawaiian chicken last night, Hawaiian haystacks. So I'll have that as leftovers, and then I have to take them straight to their church activities tonight. So we're just gonna see what we can get done, but I have to start now. We're just gonna start the process now and see how far we get. So I'm sitting in my car, I'll explain why here in a second, I'm trying to back back in, waiting for Kaylee to be ready to go to her ortho appointment. And that guy that's just pulling away right there had been sitting there in his car for a while and I had seen him like get out like once or twice. You know, he was kind of looking around, not really doing anything specific, but then he walked up to this car next to me and it had a whole bunch of teenagers in it. Well, they, they kind of, if they were teenagers, they were seniors in high school. I'm right by the high school. But they had like four people in the car and this guy that just pulled away walked up to their car and said, hey, can you guys help me jump my car? And they legit said no. <laughs> he's like, are you like, really? You're going to tell me no? You won't help me? And he's like, I have the cables. I just need you to pull your car forward. Help me jump start their, my car. And they were like, oh, well, we don't have time. And he's like... <laughs> you've been sitting here for like 10 minutes and now all of a sudden you don't have time. And so <laughs> I rolled down my window and I was like, sir, have you been sitting here this whole time like waiting to have someone jump your car? I've been sitting here too. Did you not see me? And he's like, no, I did not see you sitting in your car at all. Yes, if you wouldn't mind helping me jump my, my car. And I don't think he had done it very many times because he, I had to tell him like, separate the cords. Like you can't have them touch each other. Like once I was attached, he was already like starting to like, go to touch them together on his end. 
And I was like, get them apart from each other. And then he almost pulled them off at the same time from his car when my car was already started. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really glad that I was here to help him because, um, yeah, he probably would have exploded his car had the teenagers been helping him and they wouldn't have known what to do. But anyway, as soon as I pulled forward and started to help him, these teenagers totally pulled away. And I was like, I'm gonna teach my kids better than that. Like, you help someone in need. Like, they could have figured it out together, you know? But anyway, my good deed for the day. And now my hands are black from helping to open up my um, hood and whatnot. I'm waiting for Kaylee to get out, not get out of high school, but like have it be the right time to go to her ortho appointment. Let me roll my window up. So I got lunch and, and I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos and looking at my phone and that kind of stuff. I was gonna tell you when I get home what I got at Marshall's and Home Goods, but I figured I have some extra time right now. I had a hard time not buying everything. Let's just say that. I found so many cute things. The trees and truck thing is like still in style. They're still putting it out and I love it and I wanted to buy all the things. All right, well, so the frugal side of me just got makeup wipes right when I was checking out. That checkout aisle, you guys, it is the one of the best spots to find stuff and it's also the most dangerous. <laughs> so then the second thing I got was napkins. And we're actually like, we have no napkins. I have like a few leftover from packages from birthday parties and things like that, but there's, I don't have any holiday ones. I don't have neutrals. I don't have Ikea ones. Like I got nothing. So Jason can't complain because we are always like, oh, I need a napkin. I need a paper towel and everyone has to get up from the table. And so I'm gonna save these and put them up when I do my table tray for Christmas. And then I got this guy. Can you see him? He's still in the plastic. But I mean, it's a little bug with a tree on top. And so it was only $7.99. And I, he has like snow flakes. Let's see if you can see, it. oh there, you can see it right there on the windshield and on the hood. He's so cute. And when I got in the car, I realized it's a candle. Who wouldn't in their right mind would melt this candle? Like, he's too cute. You don't melt that. There were other salt and pepper shakers that I, like seriously, one of them was a truck, but then it was a camper van, like a camper like trailer type thing, and it said Santa camper. <laughs> like, I'm dying. I needed to get this, but it was $10. And my limit for salt and pepper shakers is like under $5 because it's a simple decoration to get for cheap because I don't use them as salt and, salt and pepper shakers. I just use them as little things on trays and tabletops and things like that. But for $10 for the set of two, that was a little too much for me. So I went and took Kaylee to her ortho appointment. Now I have another half hour to kill. So I'm at the dollar store. Let me show you what I got. <laughs> gonna be luckily it's the dollar store it was only ten dollars deep so okay the first one I got and I've actually wanted to get something like this but they're more expensive at the dollar at the craft store and so it's wood so I'm gonna make a sign and paint this white or red I haven't decided and then I'm gonna make other little ornaments and I'll put these little wood decals on them I think and then there's those ones as well these ones are kind of cute I like the plain wood ones and then Jason has his little scout activity tonight so he needed snacks for them I need another cold beverage what else did I get for oh and he got his beloved moon pies because he's out of his other snacks and I got myself a little snack while I wait for Kaylee at her ortho okay back at home the kids are home from school now Ashley you want to come out and say hi She's putting her backpack away and her lunchbox away because she really wants to watch a movie. And I, everyone has decided they aren't going to their church activities tonight. So, it is my mission to start decorating. I've got my face wipes Why and my- Why do need to decorate for Christmas? I know, my kids are like, why are you doing that already? Because I am. She wants to watch a Christmas movie, so, you know. You, want a Christmas movie? Can't, you don't want a Christmas movie now? Maybe, maybe. Look how cute she is. Can you show us your outfit? There. See, she's all cute. You can only wear um, orange and blue.
black for a little while longer, so okay. gotta take advantage of that. Oh, you're watching a movie movie. Mm. Not just like something on Netflix? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pick out a movie and let me know. So I've gotta get this stuff all cleared off here and then I'm gonna turn this into Decoration Central. Okay, so I'm officially overwhelmed. <laughs> and this is just stuff that goes on the shelf, I'll show you. So my shelf in here, I actually still have to take down this garland. I think I'm gonna leave up the stars. Ashley's right behind me. I'll take this guy down and the cute pumpkins that my friend Mary sent me, Mary Berry Boutique. Check her out, I'm sure she's gonna have Christmas stuff. So, and then I need to take out the bouquet of flowers right there, but I didn't wanna do that and make it completely bare until mm -hmm. I filled it in. Why is that in there? Oh, that's just a fluffer. So this is where a majority of those decorations are gonna go. Looks like someone put their iPad in that basket. Yeah. And then also on this shelf right here. Can you get it? Well, it's fine, just leave it there. Leave it there. So then it also goes on this shelf. So this is a lot of the new stuff that I have. I've gotta kinda sort through that. I got these ones from Friend of mine, we did like a bring all your donated stuff and sort through it and take what you want and then we donated the rest. And who knows, well she's got this right here, why this turned yellow. I've had this guy for three years, it's 2016. So it's from 2016, so it's only three years old. But I'm not sure why the water went yellow. And there's probably nothing I can do about it, but it's when you set it next to like a new one, like this one, got this one from my sister-in-law, it looks really stupid. So then the rest of this stuff, I'm actually kind of glad I got it out because some of it's just dirty. Um, I don't know, you know, I just need to kind of dust things off a little bit. Um, this, what was it, this truck? Mm -hmm. Something, I need to like dust these off. And, oh, this guy, he's got like a bunch of gook on it. I don't know what that's from. And then this, this garland here, I used to put this on my tree, but I think I'm gonna add that to the shelf or the mantle. Got the new napkins today. And then I got that new candle slash just a truck. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add that to my stash of DIY stuff I wanna work on. So I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to like put stuff on the shelf, but I'm gonna take the next, probably the rest of the week. Actually, this is a little project that I was gonna work on two years ago, but then I lost all of these supplies in a box. And so, <laughs> now I have some of them, and then I wonder if I've collected enough over the years. So let me show you what I have in this room. Okay, so in here, I have kind of my DIY table going. These are the projects that I never finished from I don't know, like two months ago in September, I think. Mm -hmm. This is what I got just today. This is kind of a little project that I want Can to work I on. This is one I want to work on. So I'm gonna put it out and I'll tell you why. Because if I have projects out and making a mess, it's gonna bother me enough that I need to work on it. <laughs> so I'm going to purposely leave them out for a little while so that I can kind of fiddle with it and work on them because I'm not gonna totally decorate all at once. I'm gonna take my time, do it as I want to, so that it's not a chore. I like to think and move and, you know, tinker with things a little bit. Like, I have to figure out where I wanna put my little over the river and through the woods, um, you know, truck. I make a little forest. I make a real forest yeah. with real pine boughs and I stick them in these little tree stumps 
and I have a whole bunch of them and then I make a little forest. So I need to figure out where I want to do that and where I want to put things on the shelf, I kind of put them on the shelf and I move things around. So like I don't do things the exact same every year. In fact, sometimes I'm like, oh, I should just look at my video from last year or Instagram and see how I did it. But I think the fun of doing Christmas decorations is being inspired to do something new, you know, kind of just going with it. So I've also got like stuff I've got to unpackage and Christmas lights that I need to put batteries in. So I'm just going to tinker with this a little bit longer. It's already five o'clock. So I'm not going to get very far tonight, but this is all I'm going to get out for right now. The buckets here, so those two right there are empty. I, I've got all the packaging, you know, undone and it's all fine. This guy right here, I'll just show you. It has all the ornaments. So seeing as though we're only on the 5th of November, and I'm not getting my tree until November 20th? 30th. <laughs> I don't need that one out. In fact, I'm probably just gonna shove that one into the laundry room because ornaments make the best fillers. For example, this guy is an ornament. He's got the string on it and everything. But he also is really cute in like a basket or in a tray or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like it could be on a tray or in the little landscape with the forest kind of thing. So I'm gonna keep it close by if I need, I know my ornaments, and if I need a specific thing to decorate with on the shelf or whatever in a basket, then I'm gonna have access to that. I'm not gonna pull out the stockings or the stocking holders. I'm gonna just kind of clean things up and get batteries into the light sets and work on it just for a little bit here. Maybe put some things out that are easy. Um, then I might call it a quits for tonight. But having the mess out like this is causing me anxiety to the point where I know I'm gonna deal with it. Like it's gonna drive Jason crazy because he no longer has his office desk. He comes home, he sets up his computer here, he pulls all his papers out, he fiddles right here. And he can't do that until I get this all put away. So it's gonna drive him crazy. So, Ashley. Can I show a movie now? Yes. Tell, tell him what movie you're watching. Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web. I tried to convince her to watch a Christmas movie, but you said? Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web. So I'm gonna let her turn Charlotte's Web back on and I'm gonna tinker a little bit longer. All right, so it's dinner time and I have dusted this shelf off, removed everything, and I've also taken off a few things that I probably won't use. I've got Kaylee <coughs> right there coughing. So I have done my garland. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like that or add to it. I think it obviously needs some red in there. And these little gingerbread guys, they stay up right here and right here on both sides because they've kind of got the weight of the top of it to hold it down. I added a string of lights to it as well. You can see the little green strand right there. I added that to it in a double layer, but we decided that we needed to add a little thing to this, because watch what happens. If you clip something to it, it holds it up and it stays down. So what I'm gonna do is I'll find some craft paper or some other cute card, huh? And I'll add that, but that might be a way I can add some red to it. I think the big recipe cards are too much because I've got to do it for one, two, three, Eight, four, five, six. I've got to add six little things, right? There's so it will drastically change from here. So for now, I have to just kind of leave it and do dinner at bedtime and whatnot, and then I don't want to do it again. So luckily, and I kind of purposely planned this, I knew I wouldn't have to like make dinner from scratch. So I've got leftovers. In, you're having oatmeal? Yeah. Oh, oatmeal she had her braces worked on today. Can I have had two new brackets added. <coughs> you want oatmeal? It was more than that. Okay, Kaylee, will you help her get a, a thing of oatmeal? Um, I knew she would, I knew we would, I, if I did the Christmas stuff, I would be short on time. So I purposely had leftovers. This is the gravy for the chicken and rice. <coughs> I really hope there's rice. Was there any leftover rice, Kaylee? 
Was there any leftover rice? I don't know. Poop. There might not be leftover rice. Good job. Good job. What's that Josie thing? So I'm gonna feed the kids. Kaylee can't eat. She just needs to eat something soft and not hard or crunchy. So she's gonna make some oatmeal for her and Ashley. So it looks like I need to make some rice really quick. <coughs> and kind of, it's kind of chaos. Why? Everything's kind of a mess. It's kind of drive me nuts. Oops. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Everyone's in bed, hopefully. We had a little drama tonight. Kids and social media and phones and teenagers. <laughs> Just his life. So I kind of look like Dookie. But I've gotten ready for bed and, oh gosh, put an elastic in and it just, oh, I think it messed up the curls. I'm going to have to like wet it down and put it back up. We're calling it a night. I've got the rest of my decorations here. I kind of cleared off a very tiny chunk and then I moved my tray over here because Abby cleared off that whole table got it wiped down really good for me and I'll redo that tray and then I've got this lid up here oh actually I think I turned off the lights let's light it up and see what it looks like so that's cute so I actually have plans for lots more lights on the shelf oh I added a few more do you want to see a few more so I added that little candle and he kind of matches the bug that's in there instead of a truck so oh, and then I put the little advent calendar down there and a little farmhouse there and then I added I don't these things will change around but I added a little manger scene right there and a little camper trailer jar there and I put one main manger up there along with the picture of Christ Last year I kind of centered all the mangers and nativities down the middle. I'm not going to do that this year. These, these two just happen to be on the same, you know, center. But I like this one up there. And then I've got another farmhouse right there. I actually need to make my little banner for this camper. See how I have the two little nails. I need to make a Christmas one for him. I haven't done that yet. So... That's gonna be cute. I'm just gonna slowly work on it. So I know people get a lot of flack for doing Christmas early, and that's okay. I do it because I need to be up and ahead of schedule for my channel, but I also tend to wanna do it anyway because I like to take my time with it. I like to have fun and create and add and move and change and have fun with it. So if you do that on December 12th, <laughs> You get like a week to enjoy the holiday. So I like to enjoy my holiday and I have it usually tinkered through by the time we hit December and then I can sit back by the fire and relax and enjoy the lights. So take care and you'll see more decorations. Whoops, you'll see more of that stuff going up soon enough. So have a good night guys.